All right, welcome everybody. This is Barney Kunze, uh, creator and founder of the uh, Animal Wellness Summit. And we have a special guest with us today, uh, Dr. Ruth Roberts. So welcome, Ruth. Hey, thanks so much, Barney. Great to see you. Yeah, great and- to see you. Thanks for uh, taking and making the time. Uh, I know I said this in some of the other calls uh, in our Facebook Live um, uh, events that we've had, but I just want to just say thank you in advance before you share everything with us because time is the most precious commodity um, that's the only resource that once you spend in life, you never get back. So I want to say thank you for spending that with us. And um, everybody who's coming on, this is totally, this is not scheduled. So this is totally an impromptu uh, call because it just happened to work with uh, Dr. Ruth's uh, schedule. And uh, as before we get started, and I'm just going to just change something here. Before we get started, uh, Ruth, I'd just like to let everybody know that um, Dr. Will Faulkner, I just want to say thanks to him. Uh, he's awesome. And he, it's a long story, to make a very long story short, it's interesting how things kind of come full circle where first Dr. Will was going to be involved and then he couldn't and then he was going through promoting his course and then he wasn't sure that he could make it and then it happened now and then Dr. Will and I really connected and I, I told him he's like a, a, a soul brother to me because I, I feel like I really connect with him even though I've never met him personally just online and then he introduced me to you and, and you to me and now here we are where we just actually met, uh, Ruth and I met uh, through a, a call with Dr. Will a couple, uh, about a week and a half ago. And R- Ruth was like, hey, this is great. That's awesome. That, that sounds amazing, but I don't think I can pull a presentation together in, in short notice or short order. And then she emailed me a couple of days later and said, yeah, okay, let's do this. I want to do this. So um, <laughs> I just think it's awesome. So I just want to say thanks for that. And um uh, so now I'm really excited to learn from you and I'm curious about what it is that you do. But before I ask you just a couple basic questions, um, could you do everybody, uh, do us a huge favor, just kind of tell us a little bit about kind of who you are and your kind of background and your story. Sure. Absolutely. And yeah, and it's, it is, it's amazing how much, uh, how many relationships are online. We meet somebody, but yet we can have such an impact by giving information and pouring ourselves into into what we're presenting to people. But uh, Barney, the reason I got into alternative veterinary medicine is that I got really sick about 10 years ago and had fibromyalgia and blah, blah, cervical disc disease and IBS and all these icky, awful things that are normally, you know, once folks get into that mess, um, it's debilitating at best, life altering certainly, um, but it just, you know, it's not fun uh, and it's a horrible way to live. And so what I understood was that I'd seen so many of my clients come in and go through that pathway and uh, just of the regular conventional medicine and it was awful. They ended up being addicts to pain medication in many cases. Um, and so I sought the help of uh, of different practitioners in different um, realms of work. One was an MD who'd gotten into functional medicine. I'd started learning acupuncture at that point and found an acupuncturist to work with locally. And so using that uh, group of people to help support me, I was radically able to change the way that I was eating and impact the experience that I was having. And And that really got me thinking about you know, we, we think we eat three times a day and that's truly the basis of our health, but we're very often not doing much to make that have a big impact on how we feel. So, uh, as I started, uh, learning more and more about acupuncture and attending classes at the Chi Institute, they were talking about food therapy, uh, all the time, every class, every lecture. And, you know, it's terrifying as a conventional veterinarian to start thinking about feeding animals real food because we've got this whole dogma that we were had beat into us from the pet food companies that the only good dog food or cat food comes out of the bag. And, you know, I was already beginning to see in practice that that just was not the truth. And so I had um, seen what an enormous change nutrition had made for me I and and in fact, in the presentation, I'll detail this out a little bit more. But the long story short is I had a, one of my own pets that had bacterial endocarditis, which is an infection on the heart valve. And that doesn't end well, typically. Um, and so she didn't want to have acupuncture needles. Uh, 
she just wasn't buying into that. I could do acupressure for her and that was okay. She would eat the herbs. We also, I also treated her with conventional therapy just because, I mean, this is an emergency situation to get her through it. And then ultimately just changed how she was eating. We started home cooking for them and started out with a very basic recipe. And lo and behold, I mean, over the course of a month, we, I watched the lesion on her heart valve go from, you know, this big to the width of a, of a sheet of paper, which is just stunning. So, I mean, how cool is that, right? So, but that's throwing everything together. And that's what convinced me that for me, integrative veterinary medicine is the way to go, to use as many tools as I can find, put them together, and then do the very best that I can do for that patient. So the cool thing was, too, is that that was right around the very first pet food recall. So I'd already started talking to my clients about, hey, use this recipe. Let's see what it does. See if we can make a difference in some of these problems we haven't been able to really get under control. And it was making a big difference. And then the awesome thing was people were coming in off the streets to get a copy of this basic recipe because nobody knew who to trust as far as what brands of food. So that's really how I got started in this. I ended up selling the first practice and retiring and taking care of myself for about 18 months. And then I opened a second practice, which was purely integrative medicine. Unfortunately, I got exposed to uh, toxic mold in 2015, had to retire in 16 uh, due to cognitive issues secondary to the mold and a couple of other things. But again, nutrition has been the way I've gotten myself out of out of that hole in the ground, so to speak. And now I'm able to serve again and help people learn how to help their pets through the website I've got, which is the original crockpetdiet.com. And the original crock pet diet is basically a basic recipe that people can make at home and feed to their pets. And then the beauty of it is that we can manipulate it based on what's going on with that pet, what food sensitivities they may have, uh, what disease processes they're dealing with, and help get them a foothold towards getting better. Um, all I have to say is wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I think that I think that if I had a mic, I would pull pull it out of the bag here and say that was a mic drop. <laughs> uh, I was very curious about it, and I did post it in the in the comments there for you. Thank um, you. Your website, the original crock pet. Um, dot com. I, I'm glad that I got it correct because I had it already before you uh, mentioned it. And I was I was curious because I, I was like, well, what is that? Sounds really interesting. What is that? But I also was like, okay, I'm interested. But like, my I got all these things that I'm going to make sure that our team and I focus on to get things launched. But I was like, I want to go focus, do this. And I want to take Dr. Will's course. But um, uh, so so as you were saying that, it reminded me of a couple things that that. Uh, for me as being a holistic health practitioner, being a corrective exercise specialist, um, and being very interested in looking at both sides of the coin. I, I grew up on a farm um, and around animals and having our own garden and raising our own food. Um, and my mom was a registered nurse for 40 years. And so uh, some people can kind of go, the pendulum can swing and they're like, you know, pro this and then anti that or pro that and anti this. And I just think that there's this thing called the middle road, and that's a great approach to take to say, here's the tools that I have, and what can I use to best support my animal, my pet, or uh, my client? And that's how I approach things in in my um, fitness business or holistic health business. And I love that you you shared that because um, it's just it's neat because then you don't have to kind of get stuck in a box, so to speak. Yeah, uh, and you can learn a little bit more about what works best for your uh, for your pet or for your animal. Um, so that's really cool. So I think it's unique. And also one other thing I'd just like to say is that, uh, my, uh, mentor, Paul check has taught me a lot. He's a pioneer in the health and fitness industry, the holistic health field. Yes. Um, do you know who, do you know who Paul check is? Yeah. So I was doing bodybuilding in 13. So I follow him. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Getting back there. Yeah, so I, I, speaking of which, I know we talked a little bit about the uh, essential oils, and you should hear the interview I did with Mr. Paul Check in 2013 about how to use them and the things you got to be careful with when using them because you don't want to use them as a band aid. Um, and then, you know, as he's living like an idiot, and then just use them as a band aid to make up for what you're not getting in your nutrition. 
But anyways, he teaches us this thing that's called the pain doctor. And I think the pain doctor made a visit to you and gave you the experience of what you went through to then kind of redirect things so that now you can continue to keep growing your reach um, online or wherever else it is that you have uh, in store to do. So I'm, I'm really excited to learn from your presentation because I know you just submitted it and I haven't had a chance to listen to the entire thing yet. Um, so can you tell us a little bit more of the croc, like can you tell us a little bit about that? Like what what are some great tips sure. that you can maybe start to use now before they hear your presentation? Right. So, you know, I think the, the big thing is that the, the crock pet diet is food that you go to the grocery store and buy and turn into dog food for your pet. And, you know, veterinarians are hung up on this phrase, complete and balanced for all life stages, according to AFCO standards. And the diet is that. Um, but more importantly, it is something that you can adapt to the specific needs of your pet. The other thing that I did, um, you know, I think there's like many things, there's uh, vaccines, for instance, there's a lot of sides on, you know, should I vaccinate, should I not vac vaccinate? But what there isn't a lot of is rational discussion about what what is optimal and what is science-based. And so what I did is go back and apply essentially a paleo diet concept to animals because we've been feeding them carbohydrates, just astronomical rates of carbohydrates. And that is now creating all of the chronic health diseases that we're facing as people, obesity, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, all those things. And that's what's showing up in our pets. And we've done it to them by feeding them this stuff that the folks that are supposed to know better told us to do. So what is finally happening is that what used to be sort of fringe concepts in nutrition are being validated by science. Uh, and it's just, it's awesome to see. So that's kind of the deal. It's, you know, it's what's going to work for your pet. If you know that your pet's sensitive to that, then let's try this other protein. And that's the, that's the, and then the companion product for that is a uh, supplement called holistic total body support. It is a multivitamin multimineral, but also includes glandular support, which I think is so critical for us and for our pets. We didn't grow up just eating the muscle meat. Over the last 30,000 years, we ate the entire animal. And that's where part of our health issues are coming from, too. Yeah. So, I, yeah. No, that, that, that definitely gives a lot more uh, insight to it, for sure. And uh, I know that. So there, there's basically in, in your presentation, you're going to kind of share a little bit more about that with people so they can kind of get started in the right path. Um, and then do you have opportunities for people to learn more about this if they're like, hey, wow, this is great. I don't want to wait. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And that's the deal. So in the in the presentation, what I'm going to do is talk about uh, uh, nutrition concepts that have been proven to be true on the human side and that I have proven to me to be true in practice over the last 10 years of using this diet for pets so that folks can start to think about nutrition more rationally. And instead of saying, well, so-and-so said this is the best thing since sliced bread, which I guess we got to come up with a different saying because sliced bread's not so great anymore, right? <laughs> but anyway, so instead of just trying something because somebody said it was a good idea, it's going to give them the ability to go back and, and look at, okay, this is what's in the diet. Does that actually make sense for me and for my pet? Right. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Um, and then certainly, the, you know, on the on my website, there's a uh, link to the ebook and membership. And so the book is full of kind of why why the diet came into being recipes. We're in the process of, of loading um, up several variations on the recipe, including a keto version and then one that's um, does, you know, kind of is more geared towards ant dogs and cats with GI issues. And then ultimately we have a, a private Facebook community where if you've got questions, you're not sure quite how to handle, you can get support from me and from my, my team as far as answering that specific question for your pet. That's really cool because I know that, um, you know, that's a, the cool part. I mean, really when you look at the animal wellness, some of the whole purpose of it is not just to support one fixed an agenda for one approach. Um, it's to basically put the information out there for you guys as registrants and participants and 
you know, part of the community where you can find what works best for you. And what I personally love about what it is that you're sharing is that that's totally in alignment with what I've been teaching, uh, what I've learned from Paul Check for the last 13, uh, yeah, 13 years uh, since I've been coaching is that there's this thing called the metabolic typing uh, diet, which he calls it the no diet diet. Um, some people like to refer to it as uh, intuitive eating or, um, you know, primal pattern eating, which basically looking at the three, I don't know if you would agree with this, but what I teach, if you were my client and I was working with you, you do a questionnaire and then you, know, you can't really, you can't do a questionnaire for an animal <laughs> for, for a dog or for a pet, but you can for humans. And there's three basic types. There's the protein type, the mixed type, and then the carbohydrate type. And so everybody's biochemistry is individually unique. And um, until you learn to pay attention to the feedback, how your body's responding to certain foods that are eaten, um, there's never any just one way to eat. In fact, in the wintertime, I tend to eat more, you know, paleo or maybe keto where I'm eating a lot more uh, fats and protein. And the summertime, I tend to lighten things up a little bit and eat more. I mean, I still eat veggies through the whole year. Uh, but there's times where I was like a heavy carnivore, like eating meat all the time. And sometimes I just need to back off. I've never went fully vegetarian or vegan, but there's times where I've just needed to really lighten things up and just, um, you know, and so I, I only say this because um, that's been my experience. So is that kind of a, the same approach that what you're doing as well or not so much? Exactly. And that's the, th the beauty is that, you know, the, the basic recipe is the starting point. And then the deal is to figure out, okay, this is pretty good. Is this really the best we can do for this individual animal? Well, maybe there's still some stomach gurgling. Okay, what can we adjust to help straighten out the GI tract a little bit more? Uh, and that's exactly right. The reason that there's a thousand different ways to eat is because we don't all need the same thing. Um, you know, I tried being a vegetarian for like almost 10 years and I was chronically anemic the whole time. So that doesn't work for me, but, and I eat keto the vast majority of the time, but for other people that would just annihilate their GI tracts. So you have to figure out what's right and what makes sense. And as you said, you know, it'd be nice if we can ask, uh, you know, the, the dog or the cat, Hey, how are you feeling today? And they're like, well, better, but not great. But instead you've got to sort of, you, the pet owner has to observe what your pet is doing. You know, yeah. how does the stool look? Do you hear their tummies gurgling a bunch? Are they pacing? You know, so is this really working? Is their energy level better? And then start to adjust things. And unfortunately, it really is just a big experiment, but that's what life is all about. Just trying different things until you figure out what the right sort of set of variables is. Right. No, it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. I'm super excited. Um, and I'm going to try this just for one second. See sure. If works. Um, so this is where, um, I don't need, no, I don't need to do that. So this is actually uh, Dr. Ruth's uh, site. Um, and you guys can see this, you can see there, I don't know, I think it's pretty straightforward because I'm looking at you now and I can't see the page. <laughs> yes. There, there's her website. When you click on it, you guys can go ahead and check it out. Um, and then see what you find there and download the ebook or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. So thank you. I like to try to keep these as short as possible. Sure. I remember that I'm in, I'm, you know, introducing slash interviewing you. And then I start talking a mile a minute and forget that. Oh yeah, I'm asking you the questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, that's. But I'm I'm really excited to be part of this summit, Barney. I think what you're doing is awesome. Um, the yeah, and Christine, that's absolutely it. The the gurgly tummy means something ain't right. Um, and yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah. It everybody needs different stuff. Yeah. But but my hope is that uh, you know I'm presenting information that's valuable to people. Maybe the crock pets diet's right for their pet. Maybe it's not. But I, more than anything else, give them a platform to start thinking about food differently. Yeah. And uh, I think it's so awesome that you're get, presenting so many points of view and so many options. Yeah. Because that's so imperative. Yeah, I like to put it out there and then you guys can decide, you as and everybody who's participating. Because uh, this is just the start. There is a big mission and a vision and a purpose behind this. And I'd like to share this with you briefly. And then I'd like you to, if you could, uh, Dr. Ruth, just there's this, this question, if you maybe want to read it from uh, that about the stones in the bladder. I don't know if you can see that there on your end. No, um, I don't. But yeah, let's see if I can. Up. See if I can. Up. 
before I pull it up, I'll just say this. So seven years ago, um, I was at a traditional native healing circle with some of my friends and basically um, God reached down from the heavens or the universe showed very clearly to me what my life purpose and mission and vision was. And it scared the living crap out of me because I didn't really know how to understand it. And in a nutshell, basically um, it was to part of my life mission and vision and legacy as a human being, part of my gift back to the earth and everybody here on planet earth is to inspire and educate millions and millions of people around the world to become better in touch and in tune with the plant and animal kingdom. And I didn't really quite get, I'm like, okay, I'm a gym owner, I'm a holistic health professional, uh, lifestyle coach, and I like essential oils, but like I grew up on a farm and I just didn't really see it because it, it, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Sure. Uh, and I say that because now when you look at it with my passion and, and experience personally and professionally with using essential oils and the basics of nutrition, um, and then now in, in this, the ant, that's where the animal part comes in, that I'm not the expert per se, but that part of my, you know, gift to you all or everybody in the world is is helping bring people like you together, Ruth, um, so that everybody can learn and then present the information. And that's how we're going to continue on. So that's I just want everybody to know that when you watch this, that there's a lot more than just kind of throwing this summit together. Uh, there's a lot of purpose behind it. So. And that's that's the truth, Barney. And, and that's the thing is that if it were not for the facilitators in life, there would be no movement. So kudos to you for stepping up and organizing this thing. You're totally welcome. And um, I'm glad to be of service. Um, so this question, do you have any insight that you can share briefly before we jump off here? I, um, yes, I think that most of the time we're feeding only dry food. And okay. so think about how you might feel if, uh, if you ate power bars exclusively for your nutrition, there is just not enough water to make those things you know, get happy for the rest of your body. And so we've done the same thing to dogs and cats. And in fact, in cats, there was, because that's bladder disease is a notorious problem. They compared cats that were eating dry food to cats that were eating wet food. And the cats that ate dry food drank twice as much water, but produced half as much water, half as much urine as the cats that were eating canned food. So if you're eating this desiccated chunk that you can't even crush between your fingers, how can you expect your dog to digest it well? And that to me, you know, the more moisture you get in the diet, the quicker you're going to get rid of those bladder stones. And there's some other tricks and tips too. And that's one of the, again, one of the beauties of the crock pet diet is that we are able to add things to it to help prevent whatever type of crystal or bladder stone is present. Um, and the other comment you flashed up there that dogs and cats are eating way too many carbohydrates is absolutely yeah. the truth. Yeah. That is what they are. They are dogs are cats are certainly obligate carnivores. Dogs are probably closer to omnivores the way we are, but um, they're suffering the same health issues that we are from eating all these processed carbs. And it just, it's got to stop. Yes. I, um, I will say that I agree with you and I'm a student of learn, lifelong learning, um, even though I think I know quite a bit, but then there's, I get humbled by life to remind me that I'm not, that I don't. Yeah. And so I think my closing comment, um, and then you can think about your, your uh, words of wisdom to end the, the short little interview slash call off with is that when you're uh, consider yourself to be green, you continue to grow. But if you consider yourself to be ripe with knowledge, the next stage is you rot. <laughs> So if you're always green, you want to keep growing, then that's a good thing. And, and that's where I, I am. I know I don't have all the answers and I yeah. just like to keep learning. Um, so I think it's brilliant. I'd love to keep learning from you and everybody else. Um, what would be your uh, closing words of wisdom for people today? Your pet's best health starts in the bowl. And that's, that's it. Very, very cool. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. Well, I'll let you get back to your day as well. Dr. Many Rudy. thanks, Barney. All right. Great talking. Yeah, likewise. All right. And thanks everybody who tuned in live. Uh, again, you guys can, uh, I'd like to also mention um, too, that we do have, um, uh, I'd like to actually just pull this up here. If I may, um, I want to show you this and Dr. Ruth, we can, you can stay on here. It'd be great. Sure. Um, Cause I just want to show you guys when you go to the animal wellness summit, so the website I put up on there on the page right now, if you're watching this live or if you are 
uh, coming in after um, and, and the replay. And I apologize if you're watching this after, uh, but we do have some paid <clears throat> options that you guys can consider. Okay. And so the free version is there. I don't want anybody feeling like, oh my gosh, like you said this was free and now I have to pay for something. No, you don't. Um, it's just totally here as an option, but just uh, you, if you haven't registered, click the yellow button. That's going to take you to this page right here. You fill out your information, and with a couple seconds, you're ready to rock. Um, and then the other one is uh, you can click on the blue button right here. We have it at 50% off uh, limited time savings, uh, where this is on until the timer goes off, which is about another two and a half days, which is um, December or well, December, November the 12th. Uh, at 12 a.m. So basically 11.59 p.m. on December the 11th that these uh, prices are they're just going to go up slightly. It's not like like high pressure. If you don't buy now, you're going to be forever regretting yourself. Um, but there, there's some great options on here for you guys. There is uh, the bridge, the gap here, the short-term access. If you're, you know you're going to miss some of the content uh, during the event, then go ahead and just uh, buy the $47 uh, upgrade there for the 10-day all-access pass. Um, and if you would like to, you can also purchase, we talked about the, well, actually we didn't talk about the app on this uh, conversation, Ruth, but um, we have a flash drive, digital downloads, and then we have a, our Success Summit app. And the easiest way to explain that in a nutshell is that this works like um, Netflix and Audible. Um, so you'll have access to all of the content conveniently without having to download it or wait for it. Um, it'll be right in the app, but you have, it'll be released after the summit. And if you can't decide, for those of you who are like to just uh, treat yourself and take care of your pets, you want to learn everything in the best way possible, you can do the I want it all package. So basically, you can get the flash drive, the downloads, and the um, Success Summit app. So you can take that uh, as some food for thought. And that is how that all works. And again, the best thing that you can do for us and everybody else that's involved is share the great information that you're learning and we start tomorrow. So if you're still on with us live, we start tomorrow at 12 1 AM and um, we're every day for the 24 hours uh, at 12 AM, you get a fresh new set of presentations that you get to watch. Um, and if you miss something, then you can, if you have the upgraded access, you can go back and watch. And if not, then just uh, feel blessed for the opportunity to get what you could for free. And uh, that is my little spiel. So <laughs> thanks for tuning in today, guys. And thank you, Dr. Ruth, for staying on. Really appreciate it. My pleasure, Bernie. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Cheers.